Where does your love of football come from? Um, probably my dad. Uh, when I was growing up, he was manager of Blind Round the Town. Um, obviously, he loved the game, uh, wanted to be involved as much as he could, and uh, managed the team. And my Saturday afternoons were spent up in Blind Round the Park. You know, I enjoyed playing with all the boys within the school environment, and I was lucky I had a, a headmaster at uh, Dunraven Primary who didn't mind that. And he allowed me to play in the boys' uh, five side teams and the boys' competitions, and it was great. You know, I was just tr treated as a player. Fe ymunodd â thîm Arsenal yn y flwyddyn 2000 a chwaraeodd dros gyfnod o dair blynedd ar ddeg i'r clwb. Yn 2007, roedd hi'n rhan y llweddol o'r tîm hanesyddol gyflawn oedd y gamp lawn y flwyddyn honno. When you look back, it's something I'm really proud of. I think the team we had for that four or five years within the club would have competed with anybody in the world at the time. And, you know, we had a gift that when we came to finals, we competed extremely well and the majority of them we won. Was becoming a manager always a part of your plans? No, um, I'm a qualified physio, so I always, always thought I'd go into that route with regards to staying involved in the game. Right now, I'm enjoying every part of it, but it's, yeah. there's lots of different parts. It's a very different role to anything that people would assume within the men's game. Mm. When you think of a senior team manager role compared to the role I currently do, it's a very different one. It's a lot about developing young players, not just standing on the side of the pitch with the senior team. Eur dechre gwych er grŵp rhag profol yn dod i ben heno. Heili lad i Gymru mae mewn! Mae'n hwyr! Mae Gymru yn y blaen! We have targets still to hit. We haven't achieved anything yet. We're on a run that is nice to look back on right now, but obviously we're only halfway through a campaign. We're pushing to change things in the future for us. Um, but you know, we're a third ranked nation within qualifying groups. We're not expected to push those top nations. And, mm. you know, so far we've shown that we can compete with um, nations that are ranked far above us, but we've got to continue it. You know, if we manage to keep everybody fit, then I'm sure we can compete. Probably a third of our team are pros, everybody else is semi or amateur. So they're all working or they're all studying. Mm. Um, for us as a group, you know, we, we acknowledge that. We have to overcome certain hurdles because of it. Um, but it makes it even nicer when people actually want to appreciate what we do. Yeah. I think that squad we have right now and the younger generation coming through are working as hard as any player in the world right now because they want to be as good as the top players in the world. I don't see why there can't be another myself or another Jess Fishlock or another top level player coming through our ranks now in the next few months. We now provide uh, an elite training environment that can get them to the top level, but they have to understand how much commitment they're going to have to put in to reach that level. There are so many opportunities now for young players within Wales that it's great to be a part of that.